Hello and welcome to another Bakken tutorial. Today we're going to go over the check collision state and we're going to see exactly what these options are inside this condition. So with that said, let's get started. All right, so to fully understand what's going on here, I'm going to go to events. I'm going to get a treasure chest on the map here. Click on convert to custom event. And then we're just going to add a new sheet and bring it first out. So that this is the one that's going on. I could delete those if I wanted, but we'll just go from here. And now we can have a repeat parallel process. And now we're going to add our condition, all right? Or check collision state. Now there's going to be some important things to consider and that is first off check out this name up here it's called treasure chest get money 50. All right so this will play into a little bit of this debugging process but the next thing we need to set is to check destination. Now you'll notice that if we're checking terrain and objects we don't have an obtained name check but if we check on event we can have this name check. Now if you click on this this option right here will first off crash if you try to use a variable or it will not do anything unless the number is one or two. Now I'm not sure exactly what's going on here. This might be an early access thing, but one is actually all you need for the check because what you're doing is you're getting the name of the object. Now the next thing that you need in this picture is a place to store it. So this is where you're going to store it. And then we're going to add right here and it could be a value. I'm pretty sure it could be a text variable as well because that's what it gives you as text. And we're just going to call this the temp collision name or something like that, whatever you want. And we're going to click OK. And now this is all we need for checking purposes. Now let's go to OK here and play test. And what we're going to do is grab the options and go to debug. You can also hit F5 for this. And you can see that we have our variable temp collision name. And when I collide with this treasure chest, you're going to see that it's going to throw the name. Now you can hover right here. It'll show you the full name, I think. Nope, it does. Oh, yeah, there it goes. Uh, treasure chest get money 50. Now, what's interesting about this, you can see that it will leave too once you're not colliding. What, what's interesting about this is that if you go to the place list right here, it's actually named event one. So, actually, in order to refresh this, you actually have to rename it from in here. So, we'll, we'll just rename it to just chest one. And I just wanted to point out that the chest one is now named when you click inside the event as well. And then if we play test this and put on the debug, you can see now it says chest one. So now we can actually do something with this name. So just remember, if you are laying down these uh, template events, that it's not going to be named what it shows on the place list. You have to rename it once at least to reset that name. That's if you convert it. So now then we'll go here and we'll go back to this event sheet here. And now what can we do with this? Well, now we can actually have more conditions based off the name. So now let's just say that we want to do a conditional of a string variable. We're going to compare it to here, this temp collision, and we're going to see if it is in fact chest one. Now, if it is chest one, then we will, uh, let's just do a screen shake here. A week, just a little bit and wait, that's fine right there. So if it's chest one, it's going to screen shake. And we can uh, play test. I'm just going to throw up this debug just for ease of use. And you can see we just start screen shaking. And then when we're not colliding with it, we don't. So now we can easily come here and copy and paste. Move this over here. And we'll name this one chest. Well, I guess it does have a different name already. So that's fine. So we'll just play test this real quick. And we'll see that we're getting a screen shake on this one. And we're not getting a screen shake on this one. So that is how we can further specify what we're hitting. You can think of this as basically a tag system, but it's associated with their name. So yeah, hopefully that was helpful. Any questions, comments below, Steam Forms will get you figured out. That said, I will see you at the next video.